I would highly recommend a, a Ukrainian writer called Andrei Kulkov. I have discovered him in the 90s, um, and it was shortly after he released his first book, which still remains my very favorite. That's mm. called The Death and the Penguin, uh, which is a story that takes place right sort of after the, the, the collapse of the Soviet Union. It uh, takes place in uh, Kiev. And it's a story of a of a, a man. His name is Victor, uh, who is charged with starting. He starts to write obituaries, but he very quickly discovered that he writes obituaries of people that are still alive and shortly after they die, and I won't mm. tell you why. And also, uh, because this is a post-Soviet Union and they're having so uh, so much trouble with money, all the people in Kiev are asked by the Kiev zoo, zoo to come and take an animal to take care of it. And he takes a penguin. So this penguin, mm. Misha, and Victor are these two friends for the, for the, um, you know, for the book. But I think that uh, Fulkov has this way of writing about Ukraine. Um, I mean, it is, a, it is a satire. It's full of humor, but it's also full of actually depth and, and looks at very human interactions. It's one thing to understand how politics works. It's another thing to understand how people function in these, in these kind of environments. And he's excellent at this. He has also a new novel that came very recently, it's called Grey Bees. And this one might be even more relevant because it is a book in which he goes back to 2014 uh, when the rebels um, uh, loyal to Russia declared the independence in Donetsk. So right exactly where, you know, a lot of this, um, the trouble had, had started. So, and he is written, he is obviously before any of what we are witnessing now is, um, is happening. So mm. it really, uh, you know, quite, quite a moving story. He's also the, um, the Ukrainian president of the PEN Ukraine. And I have been watching him. He has been giving a, a few interviews. He's still in Ukraine. Um, he moved now from Kiev. Uh, he's in a race, I believe, right now. But he is still reporting and saying essentially he's 